second problem I ran into was I was hoping to find a uh, uncoated, unwaged uh, optic to pick off the reflection. Yeah, the water is the only facial cleaning products I use. Oh my god, I can't speak. It's too early in the morning. But your skin naturally produces oil to moisturize itself. So I don't feel I need to put any more sh on my face. But maybe I'm just a few lucky ones who doesn't need a beauty product whatsoever. Don't believe everything commercials tell you. You don't need all that sh on your face to look pretty. You got two eyes, a nose, two ears and a mouth. I mean, you kind of look like everybody else anyway. So I live in a 5 by 6 square meter space here. I'm not sharing with anyone, it's just me. I got my own little bathroom, I got my own little kitchen. I think I paid a little more for this place compared to a share house, but because I'm such an introvert, I would actually pay extra to be alone. Let me show you around a bit. This is my workspace, as you are all used to. Up there is full of boxes. Just in case I ever need to resell my gear, I hope I could get more for it if I have the original box and everything intact. This is my um, snack corner. I kind of fill this in uh, when the pandemic started. Uh, closet. There's a bottle of wine there. That was supposed to go to the US, but then the travel restriction happened and it never went out of Australia. And that is my space. This is where I spend my entire two or three months during the lockdown. I don't always have a game plan of what I want to do every day. Today I do have a plan for the lab, but I'm not sure I have a plan for you guys. Hmm. I hope I'll be inspired as the day goes. So the thing about not having classes is no one tells you when to go to work. You only have you, so self-discipline is a must. Yeah, I usually have a glass of chocolate milk before I leave. This is my breakfast. Now that I mentioned this uh, messy background earlier, I might as well just take care of it. Yeah. At least you don't see that mess anymore, I guess. Also, you might notice that I have no TV except for this extra monitor. I don't watch TV. If I'm gonna watch something, I have to be learning from it. I don't mind watching Game of Thrones with a friend, but if I'm by myself, I don't just binge on Netflix. I don't know, what do I accomplish by watching a series of Black Mirror? I don't know. Headphones are such an important tool for an introvert so you don't have to talk to anybody and you don't have to hear anybody. Keep you focused. multiple laptops that make moving around difficult. I just have 
this guy that is um, backed up to Google Drive, to Cloud, whenever I connect to, to internet overnight. Also, some of you may wonder how to wear a mask without fucking up glasses. I'm wearing like double goggles, double glasses here. So my trick is I leave a little space on the side so that when I breathe out, the air flows out to the side instead of up your nose and uh, back to your glasses. just eat and hang out here for an hour or so I'm not gonna make you watch me eat or see you in an hour I got my coffee I just realized that I haven't driven my car in like two weeks now I think I'm gonna take it out get some gas and come back and then the battery is not dead this is my dimple car you see these little dimples these are all from the hailstorm earlier this year that I got this car for 500 Australian dollar yeah I didn't really drive a stick shift then but with 500 dollars I got to learn we are back I think I can get about three more hours of lap time if I go back in so I think I'm gonna go back in it's good to know the car still drives You might notice that I insist on putting a steering mirror here even though I could have just directly put the diode here. There are reasons for this steering mirror and the lens. So the steering mirror is uh, just in case the beam moved a little bit coming back, you would be able to steer it back on the diode. And this lens is to focus the beam onto the diode. If the beam moves again, this lens will cause the beam to not move around too much because even though the beam moves coming in, the beam hitting the target will move very little and that's the advantage of putting a lens there you don't need it there but it makes life easier and one thing to be careful is that you don't put your diode at the focal point of the lens because once the beam is too small the power per square millimeter or square micrometer or whatever area can become a little too high and uh, the diode saturates and your error signal will make no sense another trick here i learned from an electric engineer is when you cut a cable tie so instead of cutting parallel to the cable tie like this cut it 90 degrees if you know what i mean the the more difficult way to cut makes the edge less sharp yeah there 